You know, if they ever handed out Pulitzers for exposing media bi biases, uh, this clip that I'm going to show you a little bit later from Newsbusters would absolutely, no doubt, win the award for 2024. It's uh, Now, a lot of you, I'm sure, have seen it. It's where they expose the complete hypocrisy of the media screaming that uh, uh, Kamala Harris, Harris was never a border czar, never a border czar, and, of course, showing that not so long ago, they were all saying and calling her, guess what, the border czar. So, uh, now, the interesting thing is this clip that I'm going to show you later on is, was so effective that it, it just com it completely humiliated the media. And already, already they're doing a big U-turn on it because uh, today, uh, August 28th, Sunday, uh, I'm sorry, August, uh, July 28th, uh, we were already seeing the media backtracking. And a good example was uh, this morning on CNN. So let's take a look at this first clip from Jake Tapper acknowledging what we all know Kamala Harris was in charge of the border, AK border czar. President Biden charged Vice President Harris with addressing the root causes of mass migration at the border by going to those uh, Central American countries. She's consistently defended his handling of the border crisis. I don't know, I don't need mm -hmm. to tell you, voters overwhelmingly disapprove of how the Biden-Harris administration has handled uh, the border by giving the nomination to one of the leaders of the border effort. Aren't Democrats doubling down on one of your party's biggest vulnerabilities? Okay, now let's look at the second clip from CNN. And this is from uh, Inside Politics. And they're, they're acknowledging, yes, Kamala Harris was what we, we've been told she was before. Uh, oh, gasp, she was a border czar. So let's roll that clip. There were some House Democrats who voted with Republicans this past week on a resolution to criticize Kamala Harris over her role in immigration in the Biden administration. They were Democrats in the toughest races aligning themselves with Republicans. So it shows you they're still calibrating the politics of their new reality. Absolutely. And on immigration, for what it's worth, she has an answer. And it's the answer that the White House has been saying for weeks or I mean, how long has it been since that last piece of legislation failed. I mean, she's, she will talk about that, but it is a weakness for her. And there's no question that the Republican side is going to drill down on that and call her a failed border czar. And, uh, you know, there's, they still have to work on, on a strong line. Yeah. In, in general, I think she's going to point to that piece of legislation that, that the White House says Trump torpedo. Yeah, what are you hearing about that? Because you've been covering the Harris campaign very closely. How is she going to deal with all these immigration attacks? We have not heard a ton from her about this yet. Right. Well, I think it's going to be incumbent on her to try to, one, refute the border czar title, say that I was never the border czar, that I was only dealing with, and it's, it's a very long explanation, but diplomatic efforts uh, concerned with the root causes of migration to the really, border, blah, blah, blah. You can't right, really that above right. the <laughs> But I think I it's know. never been convincing, yeah. and that's why three years later it is still an issue. And if you remember back to 2021, this is not something that she wanted on her portfolio. Her office was really in, in a conflict with the West, with the West Wing, on not giving her this immigration because they knew it was a loser. And now three years yeah. later, here we are. But I think that they're going to try hard to push back on it. Whether or not that actually works is up for debate. But I think that they're going to try to push very, very hard because they recognize that that is a vulnerable spot for them. And, you know, and now, the big clip, the Newsbusters clip you've all been waiting for if you haven't seen it already. It's absolutely amazing. It just completely demolishes the, the media outrage about Kamala Harris being called the bar, border czar when that's what they were actually calling her. Uh, so uh, let's roll that clip. Now, I want, to, I want you to pay a special attention to that first-class schmuck, as far as I'm concerned, Jonathan Carl, the indignation. Wow, look at his indignation about uh, him, uh, Kamala Harris being called a, a border czar. So watch the clip, pay close attention to uh, Jonathan Carl. Quote unquote, border czar. Vice President 
Harris was not a border czar. Meantime, Vice President and border czar Kamala Harris facing some backlash. What he said about Harris and immigration was not true. She was never appointed border czar. Uh, and this will be her first visit to the uh, U.S.-Mexico border region since she was appointed as the border czar by President Biden. People going to have to counter the misinformation. You already hear folks talking about the border czar. She wasn't the border czar. President Biden tapped Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, to be the border czar. Now, she wasn't the border czar. That's what Republicans uh, labeled her. They were very critical of Kamala Harris, especially in her role as border czar. Now what she's up against is folks lying about her border record, calling her a border czar. Kamala Harris, who was appointed as the border czar. The Biden team didn't declare her the border czar. They wanted her to work on kind of the root causes of immigration. Mm -hmm. There has been so much criticism against Kamala Harris. You know, she was the, the border czar. Calling her sort of the border czar, uh, which wasn't necessarily the case. So the border, if they weren't planning to address it in a major way, do not make her your border czar. She met with some of the Northern Triangle countries, but nothing has effectively changed. Can we just have an on car on uh, Jonathan uh, Carl? The, the, the guy is such a puppet. Just, uh, just yeah, he must feel like a fool now. Now they're that they're backtracking, and uh, on the heels of that uh, Newsbusters clip, he must feel you know feel really really like a jerk and he should so let's uh, let's have a quick uh, encore from uh, Jonathan Carl she wasn't the border czar that's what Republicans uh, labeled her she wasn't the border czar that's what Republicans labeled her see you guys later